Hello everybody, I'm Devash Shroy, a senior technical trainer of Indian Cyber Security Solutions and today we'll discuss switch port security. This is my addresses in LinkedIn and Twitter in case you want to contact. Now discuss the switch port security. Now what is switch port security? It's a feature in switches for implementing security per port. It limits the device or the PC usage per port according to the MAC addresses. It enforces port security. So actually, what does it mean? Say for example, this is a switch and here a PC is connected to this port. Say this is F0 by 1 port. And I do not want that any other PC will be connected to this port. Only this PC will be connected to F01 port. And this PC has a certain MAC address. So what happens? If any other PC is connected to this port and it sends any data, then the switch blocks the port. So it uses MAC addresses to enforce port security means what? It stores the MAC address of the PC on that particular port. Types of port security. The port security can be implemented with static MAC address and also with sticky MAC address option. So what are those? There are two options. Or security, if it is implemented with static MAC, then you have to manual your statically PC's MAC address to be configured on switch port. So means that you have to manually enter the PC's MAC address on the switch port, and that MAC will be stored in switch's MAC address table. And if the option is sticky, it is a dynamic option. So in that case, the switch dynamically learns the MAC address of PC connected to its port and it and then the MAC address is stored in its MAC table. So what does that mean? If you implement manual option, means static MAC address, then you have to enter the MAC address of this PC to the switch F0 by 1 port manually. Then the switch will statically enter the MAC address of this PC to its F0 by 1 port. And if you go for the stick option, then it's a dynamic option, then when the PC is communicating, to any other PC, say there is another PC connected to any other port, say F0 by 2 port, then the PC dynamically learns the MAC address of this PC, say this is PC A and this is PC B. So the switch dynamically learns the MAC address of PC A and stores it in its MAC table. Now, we'll discuss the port security violation mode. Now, violation means what? It occurs, the violation occurs when an unknown PC, say an attacker PC is connected to that port where the port security is implemented. Now, the violation modes are three modes. One is protect, one is restrict, and one is shut down. Now, if you configure port security in protect mode, then the switch will not send traffic from unknown source, means attacker's PC, but there are no warning is shown, no message will be described, no log entry will be kept on the router. But if you implement restrict mode, then also switch will block traffic from unknown source and switch gives a warning message and it stores as a log entry in the router. But the most effective and the most restrictive mode is of course shutdown mode. Then the switch places the port in error disable state. So what happens? Then the switch actually error disables the port means it disables the port. So we have to implement port security actually in shutdown mode to see the effect. Now I'm going to show you the port security in using the Cisco packet tracer.
I'm taking a switch. Then you take a laptop or a desktop and you connect this PC to the switch port. Say any port, I'm taking F0 by 1 and I want to implement port security on F0 by 1. Now give any IP address to this PC. Ten zero zero one, and you go to switch console. Go to interface F zero by one. Switch port port security. See, an error is coming. Whenever I'm going to implement the port security, error is faster than 0 by 1 is a dynamic port. Means the port security is only applicable on access ports, not on trunk ports. Means the port that is connected to another switch, that is the trunk port or any router. The port security cannot be implemented on trunk ports. So first, I have to make this port an access port. For that, it is command switch port mode. Access port means that port that is connected to PC or end devices. Now you give that command again, switch port port security, and now it takes. Now you give the command switch port port security, then MAC address, then sticky. So I want that switch to dynamically or automatically take the MAC address to learn the MAC address of the PC and store it in its MAC table. Then you can specify how many MAC addresses can you store per port. There's a command switch port port security maximum. Maximum for this switch 2960 series is 12132. This means you can minimum configure one MAC address, you can store one MAC address per port, and maximum is 132. So I want only one MAC address to store for per port for this switch. And then for security violation, if the violation happens, violation occurs, then what happens? Then I've told you that there are three modes, protect, restrict, and shutdown, but the most restrictive mode is shutdown. So we will implement the shutdown mode. Now you view the switches MAC table by command show MAC address table. See, there is no MAC address in a switch. Now you attach another PC to the switch. Save 0 by 2 and you attach a desktop again. Then 0 2. And now you send a packet from this PC to that PC. Now here its port is actually transitioning. So now you send again. Pull. Now you give the command show MAC address table and see. There are two entries for f0 by 1 where the port security is implemented it is known as a static entry it is a sticky option for the sticky option it has taken the pc which is attached to the f0 by 1 and it is the that pc's mac address is a sticky mac address and on f0 by 2 another pc is connected but this is a dynamic address means that it is normally dynamically learned from the pc now on f0 by 1 just take this laptop away and you attach any other PC, say any other laptop, say this is the attacker's laptop, attacker PC. Now I am showing you what will happen. Attach it to F0 by 1 and you give an IP address, any IP, say 10, 0, 0, 11, any IP address, and now you send data from this PC to this PC.
the switch has blocked the port. Whenever the, the switch was green, so the data attempted to transfer, attacker attempted to transfer the data from this piece to that PC, but the switch didn't allow that and switch blocked this port, disabled the port. That is why it is red. See, the message should come, it has come, it has changed the state to unzip down, it has changed it to down, means the port is now absolutely in error disabled state. Now, if I go to the switch interface F0 by 1 and I give the command no shut, but it doesn't come up, means if it's a, it is in disabled state. Okay, so I have to first give the command shut. Now it is admissibly down, means it is in the blocking state. Now you have to give the command no shut, and now it has come up. See, it has come up again. So again, uh, it will be, it has come up. So again, you transfer any packet. Okay, uh, let it be uh, green first. It is transitioning. And if I again attempt to transfer any packet from this attacker PC, say this attacker PC, that PC, then the port again is red. It, it again goes into that inner disabled state. And you can see show port activity. And you can see the interface wise interface F0 by 1. You can see that it is enabled, port security is enabled, and port security is secure, shutdown mode, and the violation is shut down. And this port is actually. MAC address one MAC address is stored here. MAC address maximum one MAC address should be stored here. So this is all about the switch port security that I have described to you, demonstrated to you. I hope it was informative to you. I hope that you enjoyed this. So for now, that's all and bye for now.